Hello, Fear the Meerkat here, and welcome to another episode of The Thing It Says on the Screen. So, yeah, still got a cold. Bit annoying. Never mind. Uh, I think I mentioned it in my last Legend of Zelda Let's Play episode. Unless I put this one up first. And I'm going to put that one up later. But it's been recorded already, so there we go. So you might remember we're following these mysterious beings, whoever they are. I see we have unexpected guests. This one must be their leader. Hmm. I don't think they look quite what I mean I have to I have to say it's quite ambitious to, to have them be floating heads and sort of these weird uh I suppose metal jar type things. It's um it's an interesting look. I suppose it could have just made them look like humans and they didn't, so it but it's it just doesn't work. There's something kind of... It's hard to take them seriously. You know? Greetings. Please do not be alarmed. Our intentions are peaceful. Visitors are not shunned. Who are you? I am Captain Picard of the USS Enterprise. I represent the United Federation of Planets. How did you get here? We detected no other ships in the system. We have always been here. We are the, uh, uh, caretakers of this planet. Caretakers? We thought this planet was abandoned long ago. We are the descendants of those who survived the Civil War. You are Chodak. You have heard of us. What is the purpose of your visit? Hmm, don't forget that if a ship had a chameleon field, uh, which we know these mysterious aliens have attacked the one means do, then the Enterprise won't detect that in orbit. Anyway, um, the best thing to do is just uh, do what I'm doing here. No matter what you do, you're going to end up in basically the same position unless you directly threaten to hurt them. But, you get the largest amount of information if you do what I'm doing here. We are trying to find out why two fleets have invaded Federation space. Whose fleets are they? One fleet is Romulan. The other fleet belongs to a civilization we have never encountered before. Their aim is not conquest? They only attacked when they ran directly into our defenses. Their goal appears to be in the unexplored space beyond the Federation. So. What do you hope to find here, when these fleets are on the other side of the Federation? The evidence we have found so far indicates that they are seeking an ancient weapon, possibly built by your ancestors. In my pupil stage, I heard tales of a device built eons ago. These legends claimed that the device gave our ancestors almost godlike powers. Now suppose such a device truly exists. What makes your Federation worthy to possess it? We only want to prevent such a powerful device from falling into the wrong hands. Yes, that would unfortunately be a calamity. Do you know where the main computer center is? We found a remote terminal, but the data link was damaged. There is a working computer in the Hall of Records, but we do not have the proper encryption rod to access the data. Now, it is vitally important that you do not tell them about the encryption rod that you have. Tell me more about this encryption rod you need. There are several types of rods. Gray rods were used by the Securitate blue by the technical division, and brown by the administrative corps. We need one of the brown bureaucratic rods. Now you might remember that the one we got on Phrygis was green, and he didn't mention any green rods. 
We have not found any such rods, but this hall of records you mentioned would seem an excellent place to begin our research. The historical archives are stored in a computer, and there is no way to access the data without an encryption rod. We have expertise in data encryption. Perhaps we can extract the data without a rod. It is not unworthy of a try. Please follow my optimators to the Hall of Records. I am familiar with all known encryption techniques. Yes, your drone could be useful. Hmm. And the fact they called data a drone. It's a nice touch. So, uh, you might also notice that they've got the light shining underneath them. Perhaps that indicates that they're subordinates. I don't think they'll let you go there by yourself. I haven't actually tried that out. I have tried several replies that you can give them, but go with this for now. Thank you. We are in your debt. Please step this way. We must use the transporter to get to the Hall of Records. Tell me more about this planet. It was once the administrative headquarters of a great civilization. After the Civil War, the planet was abandoned. But your ancestors were left behind. No? What do you mean? He means yes. Oh yes, that's what I mean. We are the caretakers. Our ancestors were left behind to take care of the planet. Our ancestors stayed to maintain the world until the Empire rose out of the ashes of its own folly. But it never happened. We are a patient race. The time is nearly at hand. Ah, oh, they are tabulars. Why am I beginning to get the feeling that they're not actually who they say they are? What kind of civilization did you say this was? It was the most powerful civilization the universe has ever seen. We became too powerful. There is an old Earth proverb that might apply to such a situation. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. No, that wasn't the cause of our downfall. A dissident group of Chodak believed we were abusing our power. The civil war they started threw the Empire into oblivion. If you are finished discoursing on ancient history, I believe we have business to attend to. Yes, sir. Our apologies, sir. I can see why he's the leader. He's a lot smarter than the other two. You have to do this in the dark if you tell them you have an encryption board, because they temporarily blind you as you're going through all of this. So you can just hear dialogue. And you can't ask them any questions. So I say it doesn't matter that much, it's just to get more information doing this. Please follow my optimators. Technically, I'm only flying one of the optimators, but the other one seems to have headed in that direction now. I am not sure you realize what an incredible opportunity this is to be speaking to a living Chodak. I have so many questions to ask. The question reveals the questioner. Ask. What happened to the Chodak Empire? It seems to have vanished overnight. Surely a civil war couldn't have destroyed such a vast empire so quickly and completely. A small group of Chodak dissidents managed to remove the basis of Chodak power. With this restraint gone, the second-class races of the empire joined in rebellion. Wanton destruction of everything Chodak followed. What was the basis of Chodak power? A weapon? Not a weapon, although it could be used as one. Rather... I thought I ordered you to turn off the security system. I thought I had. There must be... You imbecile. You will never pass your fifth challenge. 
Allow me to rectify my peer's incompetence. Permission granted. Give him the security rod, Optimator 1. Yes, sir. So imagine not being able to see anything on the screen, but just hearing this happen. Gave a nice little twirl there before dying. I acrobatic is in. Oh, yeah. Uh, him, I think. He must have gotten through. Let's go. Follow me, please. The system may rearm itself again. Optimator 2 is dead, sir. His corpse is unimportant. The main computer is just ahead. This is the main computer. See what you can do. Now, unfortunately, there isn't anything you can do without revealing the ward, so... myself properly. I am Admiral Broadnack, master of the Nine Challenges, bearer of the 15th shell of the Chodak Empire, commander-in-chief of the Chodak Starfleet. Thank you for saving me a great deal of time. So what? Computer, search subject, unity device. Transfer and erase chart 45 NXD. That's a bit annoying. We need that to find it. Now, play the Unity device file for our guests. From the time the first Chodak Grub made his fateful journey to the beauty and freedom of a new shell, to the first Chodak in space, to the building of our great empire, no achievement compares to the creation of the Unity device, the culmination of 650 years of research, development, and construction. The Unity device opens up the path to a bright and happy future for all Chodaks. It's really quite simple. We de-randomize a quanta of subspace. The resulting predictability is then cascaded to a usable volume with a positive feedback loop at Point. The hyperwarp accelerator speeds this quanta all the way to warp 17. At that point, of course, the quanta is exactly as large as the universe. It then takes only a minute change in subspace to affect a large and predictable change in real space. Now, why did I think that? The Unity device is already being used to make the universe a better place for Chodaks. It has pacified regions of the Empire facing civil unrest. It has prompted many other races out of ignorance and into full second-class membership in the Empire. The Unity Device, newest wonder of the universe, paving the way to a better and brighter future. Such power, and it was thrown away. Ages ago, a group of rebellious scientists sent it into the future claiming it should only be used for celestial engineering. Now the time of its return is near. With the ancient star charts from this computer, we can pinpoint exactly when and where the Unity device will reappear. Goodbye. 
I feel that in the short time we have been together, I have grown almost fond of your species. We will meet again. Soon. Perhaps your federation will qualify for second class membership in the new Chodak Empire. I would assume then that you have to be a Chodak, Chodak to be a first class member. The Chodak are gone. The Chodak took the isolinear rod and rod programmer with them. Well, seems to me it would have made more sense for them just to curse. There's, there's really no point in leaving us alive here, but... Never mind. So... From this point on, I haven't actually gone any further, so I'm going to save it, and I, you'll have to bear with me, because this is new for me too. I don't think I actually ever... I don't remember if I completed the game or not, but really, it's been so long since the last time I was playing it on a regular basis, that I don't remember what happens next. Chodak computer might contain a great deal of information about the Chodak. I just hope there's enough information to allow us to find the Unity device. Well, all right, we can try. Huh, they left us with on. This panel appears to be active even though there's no isolinear rod. Wow, that was stupid of them. Seriously, they were being so arrogant. The Chodak erased the file we need. Now we might not be able to find the Unity device. Hmm. Well, might as well look at the other stuff. Look, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna let you read... I'm not gonna read all of us, basically. You can pause the thing if you want, but I've got a limited amount of time. Uh, I'm sure one of the crew members will comment on it if it's helpful, so... It did not work. My fellow Chodak, I represent a group of concerned scientists who have seized control of the Unity device to prevent further abuse of its powers. Many of you will doubt our motives, but what we do, we do for the Chodak race. We shall not judge our bureaucrats and admirals too harshly, though their acts threaten the existence of the universe itself. Their minds were insufficient to grasp the danger they caused. We are taking the device to a place in time where they will never be able to reach it. Every 456,000 Balchaks, the device will reappear in the normal space-time continuum. Once the Chodak race has developed the necessary intelligence and wisdom, it can reclaim the device. Got Gimlash out. And we've already seen that. Again, you can just pause this if you really want to see it. I think we're done. I would really like to be able to... This episode might be a bit longer because I really want to get something done other than just talking. And in that spirit, I will be quiet for a little while. Why the delay, Optimator 1? Sir, the security rod is stuck in the panel. We must leave now. But... Now. Yes, sir. My goodness, they didn't see us just standing around a few hundred yards next to them, basically.
So yeah, obviously we need to try to get that fire back or, or something like that and make our way out of here. Or even if the best we can do is just get out of here. We can't do it here, we need to be in the right place to be mapped. Because the thing, if I remember correctly, you can't beam from anywhere except the place we started off from. Wait a minute. I think this Chodak might still be alive. Well, I'm not looking at a dead optimator, am, am I? Be more accurate. Any ideas, Mr. Data? Uh... Try scan. You'll be fine. I might be able to synthesize a stimulant to bring him back to consciousness. Ah. I cannot you. What happened? Your master left you for dead. Now we're stuck here together. How long ago did they leave? A few minutes. Then they should be clear. Do you have a security rod? You will need one to turn off the security systems. The code is 3 Lambda Delta. It appears to be stuck. You know, I'm just going to make a quick point here. I said that I would try to be quiet to get through this more quickly. But it seems to me that it's really, really lucky that we happen to have found this core of wire. I'll, I'll show you why. I cannot you. See, we could have found anything. We could have found uh, one of those toy rubber ducks that kids play with in the bath. You know, we could have found someone's slippers. We could have found uh, a bottle of absinthe. You know, we, we could have found anything, but no, we found exactly what we needed. This is quite a coincidence. Three Lambda Delta. Looks like some kind of map. Well, I'm assuming that's what we're supposed to do. Uh, Looks like some kind of map. No unusual readings. Well. I can only guess here. It appears to be stuck. Uh, we might need it again. Right, well, I've made my best guess about what to do there. I reckon I should just save now, but we will continue to move forwards. Are destroyed. The controls are destroyed. I might have cut some of that out, I don't know. Fascinating. No unusual readings.
I use the transporter. This is the control panel for a transporter. It did not work. Ah, right, this must be for... Well, I hope they're going to the right destination. The panel is indicating some kind of malfunction. It did not work. The panel is indicating some kind of malfunction. What happened? Transporter malfunctioned. I'm not surprised. I don't think this transport is very reliable. Well, at least I've got him back. I'll fix the transporter and then end the episode. Because I don't want this to be incredibly long. Looks okay, but I wouldn't trust it unless I had no other choice. We should look around some more. This is where we came in, but... Looks okay, but I wouldn't trust it unless I had no other choice. We should look around some more. There's a control. This is a Chodak transporter. It appears these buttons control the transporter destination. Um, there's only one thing I can do here, really. I don't know if I've cut any of this out or not. Admiral's log, stardate 47195.3. I have recalled the Enterprise for a formal inquiry into the loss of Starfleet personnel. I'm dispatching the USS Hood to investigate the Unity device. Well, I'm going to have to look this up. Right, I have some idea of what to do now. As I say, I might cut some of this out, I don't know. Right, 
Hopefully this will work. Okay, good. It worked. Uh, nearly done, I promise. I know this episode is overrunning a bit. Just one minute. What is it? There's something familiar about this schedule. Didn't the Chodak commander's log we received on Phrygis also mention the space liner Rinkil? You are correct. It appears likely that one of the Rinkil's destinations on this schedule is the Unity device. The files in the Hall of Records referred to Da Nogal as the location of the device. A time regression analysis using the Chodak chart from Horse 3 might reveal the current positions of the star systems on this schedule. Well, I don't know what all of that meant, but... Beam us up. Data, I want you to run a full analysis on the information we discovered on the planet. The analysis is already underway, sir. Sir, a ship was detected leaving the planet's surface. It matches the description of the alien ships that recently invaded Federation space. Then there's no doubt left. The ancient Chodak have returned in force to reclaim their Unity device. Can we intercept the Chodak ship? They are already out of sensor range. It is undoubtedly headed for the Unity device. Send its last known heading to Starfleet. Perhaps another vessel can intercept them. Hi, sir. Captain, our long-range sensors are picking up a sporadic gamma particle trail. It appears to be headed in this direction. Could it be a cloaked Romulan vessel? That is the most probable cause. If we assume it's a warbird, how long do we have before it arrives? It will enter the system in approximately nine minutes. We've got to get out of here, sir. You're right, number one. Take us back into Federation space. Engage. Well, that's it for this extra long episode. Hopefully, anyway. Yep, I will see you next time. I really wanted to get something done today, so... And not just have lots of talking.